Hey guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to the Eagles franchise. The 9 and 5 Eagles are trying to clinch their playoff spot. We're three games away from the end of the season and the last game is going to be against the Cowboys. So it is not yet done, but the Eagles are very hopeful. First up, we play the Colts. They signed Juju Smith-Schuster and Rob Gronkowski to play in Indianapolis. So they have got a nice set of receivers here. Carson Wentz is their quarterback. And in the draft, they drafted Joshua Booth. He was originally a guard prospect, but I moved him out to tackle and he looks pretty solid. And then DeForest Buckner is in the middle of their defense or of their defensive line he's gonna be a problem I hope that the Eagles can run the ball Darius Leonard in the middle there as the linebacker with his great tackling abilities and hit power and stuff like that and yeah we're gonna see how that is gonna go we're at the link it's gonna be a home game I think this Eagles offense is gonna stack up well against the secondary they the Colts don't have like the strongest secondary of all times and so I think Devontae Smith is probably going to be pretty much uncoverable and JJ Ortega Whiteside and Mitch Slaughter should be like getting the ball as well Carson Wentz is having an okay season it's nothing great but he's going to start out uh, he moved them across midfield and he's, he's going to take off and that's 14 yards right there. And that's the edge of field goal range as well. Third and seven now. This is going to be a tough third down. Pocket is clean and he misses his target, Michael Pittman. So that's going to result in the fourth down. And they took the field goal. Jalen Hurts trying to work on his MVP award chances as he has a man wide open on the crosser over the middle jj ortega white side with 28 yards to start the day wide open there but it was a long developing play and he had the time he had the pocket as miles sanders has the rushing lane here 14 yards if the rushing is going to continue like this i don't think the seagulls offense is going to struggle at all but DeForest Buckner is in the backfield and Hertz gets rid of it to Devontae Smith on third and 10. And that is gonna move the chains down to the red zone. 11 personnel trips to the left for Jalen Hertz and he has a man wide open. How could he be that open? It's gonna be a touchdown for the Eagles as Mitch Slaughter is gonna take the lead here for the Philadelphia Eagles. With Slaughter's touchdown is going to be 7-3 right now. And Wentz throws one up. And it's Gronk and he comes down with it. What a grab. That's a 32-yard reception for Rob Gronkowski. Three tight ends to the right. Carson Wentz has a clean pocket. Is scrambling away anyway. And he's going to take off. He's going to slide down. He's getting five yards. But that was third down. And you should have gone for it. First and 10 now for the Eagles after the field goal. It's going to be a 7-6 game and Devontae Smith is open, has the catch and a first down. Now trips to the right for Jalen Hurts as he goes down again. It's DeForest Buckner and Geo Stewart in the backfield. And well, they somehow got some yardage back. It's third and seven and a man is open over the middle. It actually wasn't really open, but Slaughter caught it anyway. It's a first down and Hertz is at 11.8 yards per attempt right now. First and 10 at the edge of the red zone and Hertz is going to scramble outside. Forrest Buckner can't catch him and that is going to be a 19 yard run down to the four yard line. First and goal. From the one, third and goal from the one now. I'm sorry. And that is a catch. Touchdown Eagles. Jalen Rager. He finds the end zone here. And the Eagles are taking a one score lead still. It's going to be 14-6. Three tight ends to the right for Carson Wentz. Actually, he hands it off to Naheem Hines. Breaks two tackles and he's into the end zone. Touchdown Colts. And they are going to have a chance to tie up this game if they go for two here. But let's see. No, they went for one and are still behind 
by once by one point where we're when we are within the two minute warning now and mitch slaughter has a catch here he moves the chains oh, still all three timeouts 90 seconds left and this is mitch slaughter again once again on the crosser different play still a crosser still a first down second and 10 bunch to the right and Hertz is pressured and he can't complete it. Two men wide open. Third and ten. Jalen Hurts. And he can't complete this one either. He got hit during the throw. And that was a great play by the defense. So that drive is going to end in a field goal. And we're at the half. 17 to 13. The Eagles are leading. But it is a close game. And the Colts have been moving down the field. This is a Thursday night game, so there is no none other games that are going on right now. So we're just going to jump back into ours. Third quarter, Jalen Hurts is going down in the backfield. It's Stewart once again, and he takes down Jalen Hurts. Second and 21 coming up. Two backs in the backfield. Jalen Hurts over the middle. This is our Thega White side, and he has 22 yards, and that's a first down. Just ahead of the sticks. First and 10, Jalen Hurts. He throws it up to the left side. Slaughter in the back of the end zone. Did he get his feet down? And he apparently did not look at how close it is. One foot down and the other did come down out of bounds. Third and eight though. And Hurts, this time he has Slaughter and this time it is also ruled a catch. As Jalen Hurts is facing some inaccuracies and is completing just ahead of 50% of his throws third and goal here Hertz has a clean pocket and he's off the mark he is missing some throws and this could cost him the game field goal and the Colts are moving down the field they are at the edge of field goal range and get sacked Brandon Graham here with the sack and they're gonna go for it on fourth down they got some of the yardage back, and that is a catch made at the three-yard line. It's 15 yards for Juju Smith-Schuster. Now they are going with the goal line formation, and it's a play-action shot, and Brandon Graham did not fall for it. Second sack for him. He's having a great season as well. Was hurt for the entirety of last year. This season, he's really bringing on the heat as Devontae Smith once again has a catch. And that is 15 yards. Jalen Hurts tries to face his own inaccuracies. Two backs in the backfield again. And there's a man open. It's Mitch Slaughter. And he has another first down and a lot more. 24 yards. Slaughter is on pace to get 1,000 yards this season. We hope we can get him there. Probably won't win Rookie of the Year because of uh, Drew Grooms with the Washington football team. But there is a touchdown for Slaughter. He is murdering those people. You could say he is slaughtering those people. Uh -huh. And second and 10 for the Colts now. Carson Wentz is off the mark again. That is not how you win games. I can tell you that right now. Bunch to the right. And this is incomplete. Ripped out by Darius Slay. The Colts have another fourth down, and now you need to go for it. 11-point game, three minutes left in the game. And Carson Wentz is going for it. And he has a man down the field. It's a one-on-one, -on -one and it's broken up by Dante Jackson. And so the ball is turned over on downs. Jalen Hurts has a man open. It's Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles, and the game is out of reach and basically over. This is now an 18-point game, three-score game. We're inside the two-minute warning. But Carson Wentz can try to get a ball down the field or something. No, he does not. Fletcher Cox gets is going to be padding his stats with the sack. But yeah, great victory by the Eagles. Pretty good performance. Jalen Hurts battled with some inaccuracies. But overall, the offense had a good day. 34 points is nothing to be ashamed of, especially since none of those points came off turnovers. And yeah, Hurts, 300 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. Miles Sanders had a good day rushing, 16 carries, 89 yards. 
Jalen Hurts had a few good runs and Mitch Slaughter, monstrous day, 121 and two scores. Devontae Smith had a few important catches on third down. Ortega Whiteside had 61. And yeah, for the defense, Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, man, it's too easy for them. Two sacks for Brandon Graham. Also a sack for Fletcher Cox and yeah. Jonathan Rivera not in the backfield and actually Jalen Hurts unbelievably gets player of the week in the NFC for that performance notice he doesn't even have like he just has over 50% completion percentage in this game that, that was not a great game by any measurement so yeah but he still gets it and with this victory the Eagles have clinched the division this game was a win and in scenario and the Cowboys won as well, but it doesn't matter for them anymore. Actually, it does matter for the division title. Yeah, it does matter because the Cowboys can still split the series. If we lose this next game against the Vikings, this is going to be bad. They have still their usual stars, Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson. But yeah, nothing special here, Adam Thielen as well. On the defensive side, they drafted L. Levy, and he is a pretty good defensive tackle. 95 strength, great block shedding and power moves. Also, his finesse moves for a defensive tackle really good. And in the second round, no, actually, the, the defensive tackle was the second round pick. The first round pick was Dante Burnett, and he looks pretty solid as well. He has injury concerns, but for this game, he's going to be active, so... They are rebuilding this defense, and it's going to be a snow game in Philadelphia. Let's see how this game is going to go. Kirk Cousins, still their quarterback. Dalvin Cook is the running back. They still have that rushing attack, and we hope to stop it. But with Javon Hargrave gone, our defense, our run defense has taken a major hit. So we'll see about this game. Kirk Cousins not having a great season, not even 20 touchdowns, we're two, game away, two games away from the end, and 13 picks, and here he has a completion, Justin Jefferson, 18 yards, and that is going to move the chains. They have a long drive down the field, it takes up five minutes, and Kirk Cousins has a man at the goal line, and he's short, it's caught, but short. Dante Jackson with the tackle and they're gonna go for it fourth and one Dalvin cook up the middle touchdown And this is not good Mike Middleton is gonna come out of the game and he is going to be Sitting on the bench or walking into the locker room. We didn't see it Jalen Hurts still working on that MVP case and he is going to Command this offense in the snow with dislocated knee, Mike Middleton, and that is going to be a long injury. Mike Middleton is the centerpiece of our run defense there, and he is going to be out for quite some time, I imagine, as Jalen Hurts fumbles the football away, gets almost, yeah, gets sacked, almost fumbles the football away, and yeah, he gets sacked one more time. And that is going to end drive number one for Jalen Hurts. 7-0, Vikings still, they're gonna get, get the ball back here, great field position, and this one is almost intercepted twice, Chris Madden and Kayvon Wallace had a, had a chance at that one, first and 10 for Jalen Hurts, and he has a man open, it's Mitch Slaughter, and he breaks a tackle here, 20 yards to him, and he has got the first down. We're closing in on the end of the first quarter. Miles Sanders runs away from defenders here and falls ahead. And then another injury. Devontae Smith, thankfully, he's just sitting at the sideline there checking, checking him out. But that is going to make Ortega Whiteside the number one receiver. And Jalen Hurts is going to go down. Dalvin Tomlinson in the backfield. Third down and 15. How are you going to... Convert that and open over the middle is Mitch Slaughter. He had lots of time. Nobody else was open and that is going to be a fourth and two. You're going to kick it or are you going to go for it? Devontae Smith will return. But yeah, 
That ended in a field goal. 7-3 now. Kirk Cousins is moving back and he's going down. Dragged down by Clay Riley. He ran the guard into the quarterback and then dragged him down. First and 10 now for Jalen Hurts after the punt and he's going to get outside. Gets the first down. That's 12 yards. We're moving in on the two-minute warning now. This game is going by fast because both teams are running it a lot because of the snow and because Minnesota does that. And Jalen Hurts throws one down the field and it's caught Devontae Smith. What a catch at the sideline against Harrison Smith. And yeah, that is going to move them inside the red zone. And Miles Sanders runs up the middle, breaks a tackle down at the two-yard line. 15-yard run for Miles Sanders. Rushing effort is great in this game. Third and goal. Motion for Ortega Whiteside and no that's Mitch Slaughter actually and that's a touchdown Jalen Hurts almost got sacked he just about got it away great adjustment by Mitch Slaughter and he's got the touchdown and takes the lead from Minnesota it's 7 to 10 and there is a catch made at the sideline we're ahead of the two minute warning now we're actually past the two minute warning Minute and 55, and Kirk Cousins needs to throw it away. That coverage unit is pretty good. Third and 10 coming up now for Cousins. Does he get it off? Yeah, he gets it off. And that catch is made at the sideline, and that's also going to stop the clock. So they are moving the ball. It's a play action shot for Cousins. Wide open is... Is that Ola B.C. Johnson? I'm not sure, but he has a touchdown, and that is... That is pretty bad. I'm not sure where, who number 15 is right now, but 14 to 10, about a minute left. Three timeouts, and Mitch Slaughter has another catch. Four guys right there, and he still brings it in. Second and 10, Jalen Hurts over the middle, and Miles Sanders runs away from Anthony Barr. That is going to get a timeout off. 40 seconds left, Jalen Hurts throws it over the middle, and it's intercepted! What are you doing? There was double coverage, Xavier Woods and Harrison Smith covering up Devontae Smith, and that is going to be a turnover for the Vikings, but they can't do anything with it because there was like 20 seconds left in the game, and well... I If you like the video, if you enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe for more Eagles franchise, ring the bell for notifications. We're at halftime right now. This is a close game. And the Giants, who don't really have a shot anymore at this uh, at this playoff run. They are 6-10 and 10 now because they lost against us. And yeah, they are done with the playoffs. Washington, on the other hand, is still in the running. They are now at 8-8. Eight and eight. They still have a shot to get in as Drew Grooms gets them a victory. Throws for 292. No touchdowns, no picks. And we're going to go back to our game. Jalen Hurts throws down the field. Wide open as Devontae Smith. He got behind the defense. And Jalen Hurts under throws it. And Devontae Smith is getting caught by Cameron Dantzler. That would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's going to be like a 50-yard completion and a first down at the 13. Jalen Hurts almost picked off. No, he is picked off. It's Eric Kendricks, and he stopped at the 1. Jalen Hurts, what are you doing? He did not see Eric Kendricks over the middle there. He just did not see him at all. And now the Vikings have a chance to run out this clock. Third and six, they ran it, and Kanate Nwongu got the first down. Unbelievable, eight yards. First and 15. Kirk Cousins in his own end zone and he goes down. Fletcher Cox takes him down. It's a sack. And the Eagles are getting two points out of this. As there is yet another injury and it's Clay Riley. Another really important part of our run defense. There is two rookies into the locker room and they're not coming back. Second and four now for the offense. Two-point game. You're still in this game. You might as well win it. And Jalen Hurts is running away from defenders. Runs it down the field. Jukes out one guy. What a run. What a run. That is 37 yards. 
first and 10 now for Hertz. That's a play action shot. He scrambles to the left side and he goes down. Try to set his feet and throw, but he's going down here. So that's going to result in a fourth down. And that one is not even close. Why did you even attempt that? That was pretty horrific. It would have taken the lead, but that was pretty bad. As Kirk Cousins on the next drive is going down. Brandon Graham, second sack of the day. He really is. He is getting a lot of sacks. He's at 16 sacks on the season. And there is somebody wide open on the field. And it's caught. And that is another touchdown. And the Vikings are taking the lead. Ah, Emir Smith-Marset. Now I remember him. He was picked off waivers after the draft. But they are trying to answer right back. And Devontae Smith has the touchdown. That was two deep touchdowns with blown coverages. And Smith is going to get them back into this game. It's a two-point two game now for the Eagles. And with the fade away, he throws it down the field. And it is almost caught. But that is going to result in a punt. And Jalen Hurts is going to scramble him self into pressure what are you doing daniel hunter has four sacks on the day what is happening man daniel hunter after a punt the vikings go down the field and cj ham breaks a tackle the fullback into the end zone what a play cj ham touchdown vikings and now this game is now it's getting close it's a nine-point game, and we're at the end of the third quarter. And Daniel Hunter just had his fifth sack of the day. What is happening, man? Lane Johnson is getting obliterated on the edge there. Jalen Hurts throws it down the field. Devontae Smith, and it's intercepted. That was an arm punt, basically, after that sack. Cameron Dantzler takes it away, and now you need to get the stop. You need to get the stop. Get the ball back. CJ Ham to the outside. He lost the football and Jonathan Rivera picks it up. Can he outrun Kirk Cousins? Yes, he can. He runs out of gas and that is a touchdown. The Eagles get on the board again and close this lead. No, they don't. Jonathan Rivera does not have the touchdown because apparently the player was down by contact before he fumbled it away. Now we have to do it the old school way. Get a sack. And force them to punt it away to us. And then score the touchdown. Close this lead. Get it down to a one score lead. And now he is intercepted. What are you doing? Anthony Barr over the middle. I thought that was wide open. But apparently it wasn't. Great read by Anthony Barr. And now Kirk Cousins has the ball back again. Still nine point game. He's at midfield. You've got to get the stop right here. And just as I say, Jonathan Rivera takes down the quarterback. He's having a monstrous rookie season. And they get the ball back after that sack. Still nine-point game. Jalen Hurts has a man open. Dallas Goddard has, yeah, about like 26 yards, I'd say. And, yeah, that's going to move him close to the edge of field goal range. And then they march down the field. Miles Sanders, second and goal, swallowed up, nowhere to go. Two-minute warning right here. Third and goal. Now what do you do? Down at the one, and Jalen Hurts goes down. What is happening? He's sacked at the nine, and they're going to go for it. They want to have the touchdown right now and just have to get a field goal later, and Jalen Hurts goes down again. This offensive line was dominated today the Eagles offensive line was really 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 dominated Al Levy, Daniil Hunter, Patrick Johnson they all beat their respective counterparts got into the backfield Hunter with uh, five sacks maybe even six I don't know at the end Hurts couldn't do much I'd say in this snowy game but he also missed a couple throws he should have made Maybe it would have been a little bit closer, but yeah. Miles Sanders, only 10 rushes be because we were behind so much. And couldn't really, like, get anything going. Devontae Smith, monstrous day, 169. 
Amir Smith Marset has two touchdowns, 114 on two receptions. Mitch Slaughter has a bunch of catches again. Taylor Anderson flew all over the field. Daniel Hunter, five sacks and five TFLs. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Jonathan Rivera in the backfield, Patrick Jones, Akeem Davis Gaither, Delvin Tomlinson, and then Clay Riley. That is the worst part. We did not just lose this game, we lost two defensive starters in this game. And Jalen Hurts threw four picks. I mean, two of them were kind of okay, but two of them should have been avoided. And yeah, look at this Mike Middleton and Clay Riley, both out for four weeks. We made the playoffs, but they're not going to be here for at least the wild card and the divisional round. And I'm not sure about the, uh, the championship game, but yeah, we're going to face the Cowboys now. KC Madden is going to be there slot receiver they also have Nicholas Hayward they have CD Lamb they have Amari Cooper they have so many great receivers and Dalton Schultz as the tight end they also picked up in the in the last draft Graham Lynch he looks like a pretty solid linebacker behind Micah Parsons but this is going to be an offensive football game I'd say because this are two high powered offenses with not the greatest defenses, especially since uh, the injuries. This defensive lineup by the Eagles has been weakened a lot with those two key injuries. And yeah, the coverage now needs to hold up even better because pass rush is going to be even tougher. Clay Riley is a solid pass rusher. And yeah, we'll see. Jalen Hurts now has nine picks, but he's still working on it. He is over 5,000 yards with that last game. And yeah, third and seven coming up here. Jalen Hurts has a man open. This is Devontae Smith, and he is taken down by Jordan Lewis. And he's got the first down as well, 17 yards here. Jalen Hurts, 11 personnel. And I already see Micah Parsons around the edge, but someone is wide open on the field and it's a touchdown. Big play touchdown, Devontae Smith against Jordan Lewis. Dak Prescott, he's gonna be the one who has to answer Jalen Hurts. He's gotta go down the field as well in this game. We're in the dome, so this is gonna be even perfect conditions for these offenses. And there is CD Lamb, first time. And he has got about, I'd say, 23 yards, something like that. Yeah, exactly, 23 yards. Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. And double twins here and wide open. This is Casey Madden. He's facing his brother, Chris Madden, on that wrap, and he takes the ball away. Third and seven, Dak Prescott is going to scramble. He throws a cross body, and it's intercepted, Josiah Scott takes it away and he has a nice return for about 15 yards i'd say 20 yards maybe and he has his first pick up i think his nfl career even takes it away here uh it was intended for either dalton schultz or for amari cooper but the eagles are gonna get the ball back there's a chance to pull away early Jalen Hurts, he's going down and he lost the football, it's Micah Parsons. He lost the football after the second, Randy Gregory picks it up. It's a Cowboys touchdown. Man, Micah Parsons obliterates Sean Keaton, the right, the left tackle, the rookie tackle gets obliterated here. What a play by Parsons. And Randy Gregory just standing right there where the ball was fumbled. First and 10 for Jalen Hurts. And Mitch Slaughter is open again on the outside here. He gets 18 yards. This game is tied at 7. Mitch Slaughter with that catch or with the previous catch is over 1,000 at least. So there's a, uh, an accomplishment here for the rookie receiver. The 7th round pick. And I think a white side has a nice catch here over the middle on the post. And he gets the first down as well. Jalen Hurts. He has some time. He gets it away. And there is Miles Sanders wide open across the field. It's a touchdown for the Eagles. And there is another score. We're 14-7. Three minutes to go. Actually, we're inside the second quarter now. 
as Ezekiel Elliott is going to run this one down to the goal line. Stopped at the one. Empty backfield for Dak on first and goal, and that is going to be a sack. Dak is sacked by, that is Kalen Saunders, the replacement for Clay Riley. So somebody's stepping up, and it didn't matter anyway because Seek just ran it in. It's a touchdown for the Cowboys, and the game is tied at 14 now. Second and inches for Jalen Hurts. Can he throw it down the field? There was a man wide open on the left side. It was Devontae Smith. Would have had a touchdown, but Jalen Hurts is going to run it himself. Didn't see the open man. First and 10, Jalen Hurts runs to the outside. And he does not get away from Trayvon Diggs. He came crashing down on the cornerback blitz. And he took down the quarterback just as intended. They get some yardage back. Third and seven now. Jalen Hurts gets it away. Mitch Slaughter outruns one defender. That is 13. They're going to move the chains. But third and five now. 11 personnel. Hurts. And this is Dallas Goddard. And he's shy. It's fourth and inches. What do you do? Do you go for it? Do you take the field goal? They take the field goal. And Casey Madden stiff arms his brother out of the way and gets the first down. What a play by Casey Madden. There is the rack ability by Casey Madden. Look at this. Like this awesome stiff arm here. Great play by Casey Madden. 11 personnel, handoff to Zeke, he gets a block, gets another block, and he's down the field, he's gonna be gone, Dante Jackson, can he catch him? He breaks a tackle, and Chris Madden can't catch up to him in time, it's a touchdown for the Cowboys. Well, Cowboys take the lead, it's 21-17, Jalen Hurts, you need to go down the field. And there is a man over the middle, and that was a dangerous throw at the two-minute warning. But Devontae Smith hauls it in. First and ten, two running backs in the backfield. And Mitch Slaughter open over the middle, 15 yards for him. They're going to move down the field here quickly. They're at the edge of the red zone. First and ten now for Jalen Hurts. And pressure is coming in. He gets it away. Arthega Whiteside on the long-developing Dig route. He gets the first down down at the four yard line. No timeouts taken. We're at 20 seconds left in this quarter. And Hertz has a man wide open. That's a touchdown. That was too easy. Mitch Slaughter with a score. And the Eagles pull ahead again. We're at 24 21 at halftime. That is 45 points combined just in the first half. This is. This is a uh, this is exciting. Two massive offenses having great production. The Cowboys running the football more so than throwing 140 on the ground versus 97 through the air, but the Eagles are going to do it the other way around. And well, the football team just destroyed their last chance to go to the playoffs. They are eliminated by the Vikings. As Dak Prescott on the fadeaway can he pull it down? He got it. Casey, Casey Madden pulls it down, but it is out of bounds. That was a mismatch with uh, Javen White. Second and 10. Dak Prescott has a man open. C.D. Lamb breaks a tackle. Finally tracked down. He maybe could have gone all the way. And there is another defensive injury, and he's not going to come back. Brandon Graham is going to walk into the locker room. 11 personnel for Dak Prescott. And he has a man down the field at C.D. Lamb. And yeah, Kayvon Wallace was sleeping there. It was his cover two zone there. And yeah, quadricep strain. That is going to be day done for Brandon Graham. And Derek Barnett is going to get some more snaps. And that was just too easy. The Cowboys are taking the lead back. They are now at 28-24. Hurts, you need to go down the field again. With Miles Sanders, nice tough running there, falling ahead through the tackle of Calvin Joseph and getting the first down on this 13-14 uh, yard carry. First and 10, Jalen Hurts, he's gonna not air it out and instead he steps up, gets some yardage, lost the football, there's another fumble and I think it was Micah Parsons again. What are you doing? Tried to get the first down here. 
Oh, that is another fumble recovered by the Cowboys. And Zeke has a great rushing lane here. That's 19 yards. He already is at 166 and three touchdowns. But now they're going to go empty at the goal line. And Dak has a man open. That is caught. Amari Cooper. And the Cowboys are pulling away. Now you need to now you need to start to worry because this is now an 11 point game and the Cowboys offense has scored on almost every possession except the interception. Mitch Slaughter has a catch. That's a good start. That's 24 yards for him. Hertz is already at 250 and we're just at the end of the third quarter. Maybe he's going to break 400 today. Jalen Hurts over the middle. There's a man open. It's Arthega Whiteside and he brings it in in the coverage of Trayvon Diggs. That's a first down at 25. First and 10. And uh, yeah, this is Dallas Goddard. And he's got 19 yards on that play. But I also saw Micah Parsons almost getting into the backfield there. Two backs in the backfield. Second and goal. It's going to be a throw. And it's close, but it's a touchdown. Mitch Slaughter has another score. He's catching everything that's thrown his way and therefore is separating of the pack because Jalen Rager is not producing at that level and the two-point try is also good JJ Arthaga Whiteside with the two-point try second and six and Dak Prescott is going down is this the chance Kalen Saunders takes the takes the quarterback down and they're at third and 15 you you gotta get the stop still behind by three points and Casey Madden has a catch is tackled by his brother but that's gonna result in the fourth down and Madden can celebrate there on that play Jalen Hurts he has a man open Devontae Smith has a catch after that punt now you have a chance to go take the lead three-point game here Jalen Hurts he has a clean pocket and he goes down the field as Devontae Smith can he haul it in? It's a touchdown. Smith got behind Jordan Lewis again. These balls are so dangerous. You can't press Devontae Smith. It's 80%. It's going to be it's going to be a touchdown if you press Smith. And the catch is made by Casey Madden. What is he doing? But it's out of bounds. What a catch by Madden. He's putting on a highlight reel here. And there is somebody in between the cover two zones and they are going to catch him. Dalton Schultz, the tight end on the seam route, perfectly down the middle. And both safety slept on that play. And the Cowboys are going to not take the lead back. It's fourth down. It's fourth down. Kayvon Wallace stops Ezekiel Elliott at the goal line. This is the chance. You've got to get the stop. They don't get it. Ezekiel Elliott into the end zone. It's his fourth of the day. Maybe even his fifth. I'm not sure. But he has a bunch of touchdowns right now. Second and 10, two backs in the backfield. Jalen Hurts is pressured, and there is someone wide open on the field, and Devontae Smith pulls it down. It was underthrown, but still pulls it down. 430 yards throwing for Jalen Hurts, and Devontae Smith is having a monstrous day, and he has another touchdown right here. Devontae Smith is such a monster. They cannot stop him. They, it seems like they absolutely can't stop him. Third and two. And now it's a four-point game. Ezekiel Elliott. He has a rushing lane. He runs away from defenders. And I thought he was gone for a moment. If he could have held his balance there, he probably would have been gone. First and ten. Dak Prescott. And he has a clean pocket. He gets a throw away to Casey Madden. He once again has a great catch there. And second and two from close to the goal line now. As Dak has a man open. It's a touchdown and Zeke has one through the air. What is happening, man? Can't even cover that guy. I know a run defense can't do anything, but three-point game now. And the Eagles have one minute left. And there is a man behind the defense. How is this going to happen again? Devontae Smith with the score. Touchdown, Eagles. What a game. What a game. Devontae Smith. Is he going to have a 300-yard performance in this game as well? 
And there is a catch not made. You should have brought this one in. But yeah, Casey Madden, this time he can't hang on. Fourth down, you gotta go for it. And the catch is made. It's Dalton Schultz, and he has a lot more than just the six yards he needed to make. 16 seconds and one timeout left. You gotta get the touchdown if you're Dallas here. Dak Prescott, he's got a man. It's Casey Madden, and they are taking the last timeout. Last chance. One ball down the field. And Dak is going to throw it up into the end zone. It's incomplete and the game is over. What a game. This is wow. Oh my god. More than 100 points combined. Probably more than 1,200, 1,300 yard, 100 yards of offense here in this game combined. Dak Prescott, he's a gunslinger, but Jalen Hurts is pretty good at that as well. Hurts. 509 yards, perfect quarterback rating, 82% completion percentage, 7 passing touchdowns. What a game for him. What a game for Jalen Hurts. He missed one throw the entire day, I think. Dak Prescott, pretty good, good game as well, but yeah. Ezekiel Elliott, 216 yards and 4 touchdowns on the ground. And yeah. Devontae Smith had a 300-yard game. 309 yards, 4 touchdowns. It wasn't enough to break Julio Jones' record, but yeah. This was a lot of offense. And Elliott even added a touchdown on the ground, uh, through the air. And 53 yards there as well. So he had more than 250 from scrimmage. There was not a whole lot of defense played in this game. Kalen Saunders was the only guy doing anything for that Eagles defense. He had two sacks in the... Like, yeah, with um, Clay Riley missing. And, yeah, Josiah Scott had a nice pick here. Micah Parsons, two forced fumbles on Jalen Hurts. That could have turned the game around, man. Yeah, Hurts, uh, obviously, player of the day in, or player of the week. Thir 23 of 28 for 509 yards. That's close to uh, 20 yards per attempt or something like that. And, yeah, um... Jalen Hurts in the top right corner, you can see he missed being passing leader by four yards. But he had 55 touchdowns and Tom Brady had only 50. And yeah, Devontae Smith, unbelievable day. He already was beyond of uh, 2,000 yards ahead of this game. He now has 2,315. And Jonathan Rivera in the sack category, he was pretty much toward the top. But he got beat out by Khalil Mack for the sack title in the league. And yeah, with this game done, the playoff picture looks like this. San Francisco actually managed to have the one seed. The Bucks, the Eagles, and the Bears are having the other divisions. And the Cowboys made it as the five seed. They had a good enough season. The Seahawks and the Rams were not the greatest teams. They are somewhere around 500, I think nine and eight and eight and nine or something like that. The AFC is way stronger in the season. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to go to the wild card round. I'm so excited. Playoff football coming to Philadelphia against the Seahawks. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more Eagles franchise. See you in the next episode. Until then, spread some love.